So I'm having this dream and uh, in my dream, I'm just standing there and I'm looking around, I'm in this driveway and I'm looking and I'm looking at the building, this house, this red brick house and it's got vines running up on it and leaves on the vines. And I'm looking down the driveway and there's a garage in the back. And then all of a sudden the scene changes and I see this beautiful young lady with long dark hair and I seen a gun and I knew that uh, she killed herself. And then boom, my phone rang and I woke up and I answered the phone. And here a guy locked himself out of his, uh, out of his garage and his car was locked in the garage and he had to get to work. So I woke up real fast. I went and jumped in my locksmith van and I drove down there. It was about eight o'clock in the morning and I pulled up and I backed in the driveway and I get out of my van. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is the house of my dream. The same red brick with the vines running up the side of the house, the same garage in the back, everything looked the same. There's trees in my, in my dream and I remember the trees and I'm like, this is it. Well, this is gonna be interesting. So right about then the guy comes out the back door and I go open up the garage door and uh, I get paid and I look at the guy and I say, listen, um, I had a dream about you this morning and in my dream, I seen this place and everything and I seen uh, a young lady um, and the dream was about suicide. And I could see even before I, when I just showed up, the guy, I could tell he'd been crying and he was sad. And he just fell back against my van and I grabbed him before he fell down and he was bawling his eyes out. And he, you know, when somebody's really overcome, it's they can't understand what they're saying. But finally he told me that his girlfriend committed suicide. So I prayed for him and I was there for a while and praise God. And he received the Lord Jesus and he received faith. And then, uh, it was a, a week or two after that, maybe a, a month. I was on another job and I met this guy and I was talking to him and the Lord told me to share that story with him. I'm like, okay, I have to share something with you. And I told him this, the same story that I'm telling you. And uh, he was shocked. He goes, that's my friend. And he called him and asked him what had happened and if I had really happened with me there and with the dream and the guy confirmed it and you could see the guy's face he was impacted and uh, he received the Lord so listen time's short we're in the end times we need to share the gospel we need to preach faith but if you haven't done so give your life to the Lord for we're living in the end times